Okay, so we're here with Kinga. Hello. At the Pushpin studio. And uh, yeah, what have you brought to Bristronica today? So I've been working on this uh, hackable groove box. Uh, it's, it's something I've been working mostly for myself, but also for other people to perform with. So uh, I've, I perform a lot of music, and I've seen this gap where there isn't really something that uh, that has like a lot of sound design capabilities like insert effects or like multiple oscillator types uh, or multiple filters that I could adjust quickly. So what I have here is like an open source groove box. So the synths I'm, I'm using are uh, Surge XT2, Surge XT, sorry. Uh, and I have eight tracks and each track has uh, two oscillators and I have like different oscillators models in here and I have two filters uh, I have uh, three insert effects so I have like a lot of like just wiggle room for sound design and for getting like different sounds so Great. and this is running off a Raspberry Pi this is said. running on uh, this Raspberry Pi 5 here yeah, yes yeah okay Raspberry Pi 5 so the it's it's a python script and it's being controlled fully with this push it's really working like a groove box it's still work in progress, so I'm still like actively working on it. I didn't write the sequencer yet, for example, so I'm sequencing it from this rhythm. Okay, cool. Uh, so, for example, here, like, let me show something. I have like, I'm just gonna. I have this kick here, uh, and da -da 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 -da. here, yeah. So that's the kick. And I have like a delay here and a reverb to like add a rumble. Uh, I have, I have like a synth sound here. So like I have a delay here as well, but because all of those effects are per track, I can have like different effects on different tracks, which is something I was personally like really looking for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. so was the inspiration behind this for your own live performances? Yes, like because I, I, I perform a lot of techno and I felt the need to have more uh, more complex sounds that I could that I could play with more like uh, freedom for sound design, like not having to uh, sacrifice, for example, my only delay to, you know, uh, make something like interesting with the bass, right? Yeah, right. Uh, another thing I've added here is I've added uh, overbridge support. So there is this uh, there is this uh, open source uh, overbridge client for uh, Linux. It's called Overwatch, and I'm using it to have individual outs with a USB cable from my rhythm. So there is a kick going, and that's like the that's the dry kick. And I'm gonna bring the delay, so I have like a rumble going. And then I have hi hats here, and the hi hats have like a completely different like processing chain. So you can hear the hi hats don't have any of the delay. The hi hats have their own like yeah, yeah, yeah. phaser. And then I have this, and you can hear this is, again has like its own its own effect. And is this like coming? Is the sound coming natively out of the Raspberry Pi? Y yes, that's well, out of the out of the interface. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Great. Yes, I'm still I'm still working on this. This is still work in progress, but I feel like it's close to getting to a point where I can release it to people, so pe other people can mess around with. So, yeah. Great. And um, and it's and it supports what hardware? What hardware do people so need? So you would play? need uh, a Raspberry Pi five, and you would need uh, you would need an Ableton Push two, and some sort of like audio interface is your output. Okay. Yeah. And where do people find out about this? Uh, if they on want our to know website here. It? 
Brilliant. Great. Well, thank you very much for showing us, Kinga. Really thank appreciate you. it. See you.